hello guys uh, welcome to the channel uh, today let's discuss how to enable expect security and how to generate passwords uh, before starting it there's a small modification from yesterday's video so what happened is uh, in JVM options in the elastic directory there's an uh, error I'll show what to do first let's change to sudo and let's go to the directory of elasticsearch so in elasticsearch uh, we must edit jvm options uh, file so nano sorry so in jvm options file uh, yes in yesterday's video i have made a small mistake it's xms s uh, not x one will be s and one will be x so let's save this and let's the uh, stop elastic search system ctl stop elastic search and let's also stop kibana once we are done stopping Elasticsearch and Kibana, now let's edit Elasticsearch.yaml. Elasticsearch.yaml in this security. Over here, let's type the line expect dot security dot enable is true so the line must be exact and let's save the file and let's now start this elastic search let's check the status of elastic search now we can see elastic search is running successfully uh, let's open our browser so let's type in 192.168.68.11 and port will be 9200 which is elastic search port uh, we can see that it is prompting for a username and password now let's generate the usernames and passwords uh, let's go to the directory cd slash user slash share in this directory uh, we must find elasticsearch directory see we have the elasticsearch directory let's change the directory to the elasticsearch uh, go to bin Uh, so in the bin directory we can see a script called elasticsearch setup password so let's see what are the options available by running it so let's type in dash dash help we have two options one is auto and one is interactive what happens is if you choose the option auto the system decides the usernames and passwords and generate uh, generates a random passwords but whereas when you choose interactive you can decide password for each and every username so let's go with auto for the time being so i'll type in auto type yes Uh, so we can see username and passwords being generated I'll copy all this I'll save them for the time being now what we'll be doing is let's go to the kibana directory which is slash etc slash kibana let's clear out everything uh, we can we know we have kibana.yaml here so let's make a modification here let's supply the elasticsearch username and password in this uh, folder if 
you come down you can see there is something called elastic search dot username and elastic search dot password so leave the username to be the default which is kibana underscore system if we go and see for the kibana underscore system we have a password so let's copy the password of kibana underscore system so here kibana underscore system let's copy this password and replace the password over here so we can see and let's exit save and exit now start kibana so let's check the status so kibana is active and running so what i'll be doing is i'll go to the browser i'll type in the ip 192.168.68.11 and i'll supply the port number 5601 So we can see Elastic. Uh, it's prompting for a username and password. And let's supply the username as Elastic, and password will be the password generated for Elastic username. So the Elastic is the root user. So this is how we can configure XPack security in Elastic Search, Logstash, and Kibana. Uh, thank you. So that's all for today. If you like the video, do subscribe. Thank you.